Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show you uh, one of two situations on debugging in J4X with orders going out. Okay, so I've got a video on my YouTube channel. If you go under my playlists, So, okay, Quant Labs channel, go under uh, playlists. Apologies for being this being slow, but this is crappy either Firefox rendering or YouTube being really slow. Okay. So what we have here, if you go under the Deku's Copy channel, you'll get uh, one of the more recent videos I just added here called um, Demo to Submit Order to Deku's Copy J Forex via Sockets for Forex Algo Trading. So continuing from there, what we've set up is, yeah, I'm using... Buckley's original mixture was uh, created in 1919. We've had almost 100... So what we have here is the J4X under strategies. I've got a new strategy I just created called stock it strategy message. That is the same strategy as I demoed or highlighted here um, in this video. When you look at the source code of the strategy, which is here, I've added a few new lines. What I'm trying to do is just trying to display the value of the message received from the call when that's from the socket uh, and that's the message being sent over from the client Java site in the NetBeans. So here um, is what we're referring to is this is a standard uh, socket client that's described on the Duke's copy wiki uh, and in here just before I send over the data through the socket. I have a breakpoint right here, so I know that this is working for a variety of reasons. But generally, we've set up the or it connects into the socket of uh, localhost at port 7001. So this line right here is the actual uh, information on this in this write buffer. And then that line will also process the order, uh, the buy order from this Java client. So how I've got it set up or teed up is basically I've got the socket strategy message and that connects into port 7001. We know we have the uh, strat socket strategy message data. I'm going to clear this from the previous sessions. You also got to make sure that you don't have any other current open positions before you run rerun this session on the NetBeans or the Java client side because you'll get a conflict and an exception. And that's what you saw in this tab here. Uh, also, um, just so you know, when you do automatic compilation uh, with the Java file from within JForex, there's a couple of things I've noticed. When you click on run, so in my case, I'm gonna press stop. Uh, what it will do is it will compile on the fly the Java file here that you're about to run. And if there's any messages in terms of uh, exceptions or compile build errors, they'll get listed under here under messages. But let's just take a look at the previous sessions. So we've got here with a strategy, socket strategy message which is this guy here that I'm about to show you that's this right here it gets loaded up and then in there it's going to create this order and that's what's received from the Java client here the socket client and then that will send over the order and then from there the order is accepted and then uh, in order to properly debug it, I had to manually close the orders in here. So it's a fairly straightforward uh, 
workflow, I guess you could call it. So everything's ready to go. We have cleared all the session, all the previous session messages. We've cleared, um, actually I should clear these messages here. We have no orders and we have the strategy and it is stopped. Okay, so I'm gonna run it. Let's see what happens here. So here's what's gonna happen. These are the parameters that are set up. This is setting up to receive messages from port 7001, so it's going to open up a socket on port 7001. So now, from my Java client side, I can send over the data from this from this Java file, and that's going to be the buy order. So what I've got here is I've got a um, breakpoint here, and as I said, this line right here, this is the actual order that's sent over through the socket, uh, and then that processes the buy order. And again, uh, I've shown you the code here where it does connect into the local host port 7001. So this is now ready to receive um, messages. So we know that by the socket strategy message tab running. So now what we can do is we can um, essentially debug our program and then have it get to that point uh, here before it sends the order. So let's do that. So we have debug takes a while for it to launch for whatever reason. Okay, so it's just opening up. We've got our socket client. And just wait for that little blue arrow to show up. There you go, so actually a green arrow. So we're just about to send over the right buffer, which I can do here. So let's just stop for a minute, see what our messages are. So we have no messages here. Uh, no messages, oh sorry, under messages, so when we launch the uh, strategy code uh, from within JForex, we can see here strategy socket on local computer port, whatever, we know that, and strategy, and here's the time that it was, was executed. So we have no orders right now in queue in JForex because we haven't sent it over yet, but watch what happens. So as soon as I press step over there we go so that means our order has been sent over here so our order should be processed or hang on let's see what's going on here order by market sent that blah 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 strategy id is started starting strategy gmt so here's our position that we just opened up so we know that the java client sent over the order info now the other messages that we're looking for are anything from what's displayed from within the uh, client Java. So let me just see what the... So I believe this is what's sent over via the data and that's telling the uh, message received by, okay? So when I look at the code on the Java side of the socket strategy message, a um, couple of things I want you to be aware of. Okay, so what I've done was I've, I've modified the from the original socket strategy .java, which you can find on the wiki. I had to make a couple of uh, modifications. First, um, we've had to define a console get error just to display something and message receive message so the only data that's being sent through the sock is just the word by and I know that because that's it right here by so let me do a test just to make sure I can confirm that so I'll just say another so let me just uh, oops. I'll just use that just to show the distinction to make it more distinctive so we've saved it so let me just tear down everything clear the messages uh, strategies so I'm going to stop this and I'm going to close that so we have our position so I have to close this position in order for the next session to work properly so I close the position 
for this position. Now remember, this is just all demos. This is not real life money. Uh, so I'm going to clear this log as well. So what you could see here in the messages that it did accept the order, order buy has been sent out. Okay, so we can clear that as well. So we're ready to go with a fresh session. Okay, so uh, let me just, oops, go back into my, um, into my, uh, into my NetBeans here. So I'm gonna stop this and then go back to where we were before to reset everything. Okay, so we've got everything uh, empty. The, the log is cleared. This is stopped. Our message log is, is um, cleared as well as our orders and no positions as well. Okay, so let's relaunch everything. So I'm gonna relaunch our socket. So again, we're gonna connect into port 7001. We're gonna run. So everything's now set up, ready to go. So back into the NetBeans, I'm now going to do another debug on the same file. Off she goes, takes a while. So what we're looking for is a new message here, uh, message received mod. So we know that that modification includes that proper message. So we'll wait it out in the NetBeans, da 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 da. Here's our execution point. So let's just confirm everything. No position sent over yet. Here's our messages that we expected. Compiling works, compilation's been successful. Uh, starting everything on the strategy itself. This looks good and the socket strategy is blank. Okay, so now we can proceed by sending over the order. Okay, so our order went in. So here is that exact message that we wanted to see. The word buy is sent over through the socket to the strategy here in Droid Forex. Once it sees a message buy, that's what it does. It does a buy, okay? So we know that as a fact, because here it says, no. Well, we know the position's been opened up, close it, and then, Let's see what we got here. Message received mod by, and that is exactly what we want to see here. Message received mod. So all we need to do from the Python side is just send over in the socket the word by, B-U-I, and that should automatically tell the strategy on the sat on the J4X side to actually put the order in. So what happens there is once that message is received equals by, exactly what we thought, we now know from here, it will go in and order a buy on the Euro US dollar with a quantity, I think it just said it, zero, one penny or one Euro US dollar. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try that in the Python side and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now and continue with the Python.